Okay, good evening team Ryvan. So our laboratory for today better prepares you when you're going to take your first exam. Okay? So our lab will be basically be doing four services. DACP, not SSH and NTP. We're going to use two baby Linux to be sent to your chat group your real PC and CSR 1000B so let's get started very first thing you have to do is you need to edit virtual network editor why do you have to do this because notice that you have three interfaces here we need an extra one okay so let's add We add the network, let's call it BMNet2, press an OK. Okay, so for BMNet1, we need to change the IP basically to 101, just to match the name with the number. BMNet8, I would suggest BMNet108, and for this one, with, let's make it 102 for BMNet2. Remove the DHCP servers, not for the NAT. For this one too, remove this one. Make sure it's off. Click on Apply and press on OK. Got it? So after doing that, we will first try to import the CSR1000B which was sent to your chat groups. So you, there are several versions. Let's try this one. Well, that's the version we're using in class anyway. So let's just call it exam lab. Now you know why you need to learn that. So let's select small, type the name exam, let's make it capital. Lab. Admin for the name. Password, password, got it? So press on and click on import. One more, import. And let it run. So while it's, while it's installing, you need to change this, the settings. Okay, the first one should be NAT. The second one should be, well, BMNet2. The last one, BMNet1. Okay? So, BMNet2 is this one. This is one. This is BMNet1. Just to match our network diagram. Okay? So, press on OK. Just wait for it. So, at this point, you can have Linux, uh, you can have that Cisco be installing. So while waiting for it, let's try to import our baby Linux. So we select open. This is the tiny Linux. It's just 14. So let's call this baby Linux 1. Let's import that one. It's going to add on here. And since it's so tiny, we can add another one. Baby Linux 2. Now, the thing with Baby Linux, it's so small, you need to increase the RAM to make it more responsive. Let's say 256. This one. Increase it to 256. So that we avoid problems. Okay. Now while waiting for this to boot up, let's just discuss what you need to learn for the exam. Okay. So there are rumors that um 
Cisco exam for 2023 would, equal, would include four labs. One is a DHCP lab, two is an SH8 enabling lab. The other one would be a extended access dash list lab. And number four would be um, my guess, oh, I mean, according to a lot of people, it's not. So let's focus on these labs. For the DHCP, let's just call it task one. We all know the command for DHCP, right? So it's config T. By the way, Dawn, um, let's see the installation. Still booting up. So essentially, the command for DHAP would be this. So we select the excluded address, so the address that will not be given away, beginning with 101 all the way to 100. So our addresses will be starting at 101, 102, etc. Okay? So this is the, the network. The default router, which is this, by the way, etc. Okay? But in order to do that, we need IP addresses. Okay? So let's just match it, match it with here. Since it's still booting up. Interface gigabit 2. IP address 192.168. 102.8.255.255.255.0 Don't forget the no shot. Okay. So put that here. This is 3. This one is 101. Just to match this. And for the Interface gigabit one. We'll make it DHCP for now. No shot. Because this is connected to the internet. Okay, I think we're set. Let's wait for the boot up. Press enter. Still not booted up. It's not a problem. Okay. For our task number two. It's going to be why SSH is better than Telnet. Okay? So we'll have a little demo to expose the dangers of Telnet. But while waiting, might as well put the commands for SSH. Config D, IP, domain name. RivalIT.com Crypto key Generate RSA Then IP SSH version 2 Okay, so those are the commands for SSH Still not booting up. I may need to pause the, the, the video. I think we're almost done Okay, perfect. So first off no logging console. No IP domain. Sorry. Dash lookup. Okay. Spelling. Good job. Okay. Now let's bring up Gigabit 2. IP add 192.168. One o two dot eight. Put in a slash twenty four. Do a no shot. Okay. Let's try to connect to it via telnet because okay. Press on connect. Username is admin. Password is password where we were able to get connected via oh, telnet obviously 
increase the size a little bit. So notice we are now connected by a telnet. Now the danger with telnet is this. I might disconnect this one. Okay, so a lot of you guys would have Wireshark installed already by now because all network engineers need that. We monitor BMNet too. See, nothing happens. But if we try to reconnect and type in admin, the password is password show IP in clip because we only have one IP for now. And all the packets were captured. But the danger with Telnet is passwords are not encrypted. They are in plain text. Everyone can see them with minimal networking skills. So the exam doesn't want you to use Telnet. But instead, use SSH. Okay? So this should have been task one. But anyway. So let's get this running, guys. Big D. That's the first one. Generate. Let's use 1024 so that we are able to use version 2. Good. Okay. Normally, you need to create a username. Okay. Okay, so you need to create a username for the SSH. But we only already have several usernames before. So it's the, the first one is admin, the second one is Rob. So you can use either one. I prefer to use the first one. So we change this to SSH. Click on connect. Accept the key. Type in password. Show IP in Greek. We are encrypted. So passwords are hidden from prying eyes. So that will be our part one. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you.